In this video, I'm going to show how to mount ARCA plates onto a rifle stock so that I can have a universal mount to mount my bipod as well as a tripod, both at the front of the stock as well as at the balance point in the middle of the stock. This has been something that I've been wanting to do for a while, just have a universal mount that works for all of my shooting vests. So I can pop the bipod off, back on, I can use a tripod. It's all ARCA Swiss mount, so all of the tripods that we carry always have ARCA mounts. So my hope is that whatever we have, it's universal, can attach the rifle to it. There are not a lot of bipod options for mounting to an Arca Swiss plate. The one I landed on is an Atlas bipod paired with an Area 419 clamp. I will say that this is not a cheap option. Area 419 also makes a clamp for the Harris bipod as well, which would maybe be kind of a mid-tier option. Or if you wanted to try a really budget option, you could always get a knockoff Amazon bipod, an Arca clamp, and figure out how to bolt them together. Anyway, I went with the Atlas. They're super expensive, but they're really nice. Keep in mind that I am not an expert. I am not a gunsmith. So this is just the way that I am doing it. I guarantee there are better ways to do it, but this is what I'm doing. So hopefully this is helpful for at least some people. To start, gotta remove the action from the stock. So just a T30 hex head for this, this particular gun. Here we go, a little piece of grass in there. So now I have the stocks from two rifles. This one is a 6.5 PRC, this is a 300 Win Mag. 300 is a little bit longer than the 6.5. And so what I'm gonna do on the 6.5 is mount just the one Arca plate at the front. So this can serve as a bipod, tripod mount, whatever. And then for the 300, I'm gonna take two plates, the balance plate in the middle and then the arca plate in the front, leaving space in between just to have a nice handhold for offhand shots. So I'm gonna go ahead and trust that the uh, factory machined holes are dead center of the stock. So what I'm going to do is line up the dead center of this hole and this hole, drawing a line in between. So I have my line there. Line up this plate. There's already one hole in the stock where the sling stud went and you can just replace the sling stud with a 1032 machine screw. But I wanna have a second hole to mount the plate so we have a much more solid connection. What I'm gonna drill from the bottom of the stock up through the top and then be able to countersink from the top of the stock to install this T-nut. So that will countersink into the stock then be able to mount via the 1032, just the standard threads that they use on most rifle stocks. I have the gun in a vise with a rag just to soften it up against that stock. But what I'm going to do is find a square part of the stock and then I'm going to adjust this until it's perfectly level. Okay. Here we go. Have your eye protection on for this. All right, now we will put this bit in, three quarter inch paddle bit, make it level. So got that countersunk enough that now we will be able to install this T-nut down in there and then mount our plate on this side. Get that nice and square. Use my makeshift punch here. Plate fits. That's always good. Going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on these threads. Might have to take this off at some point, so we don't want it to be fully permanent. There's still a little slop in the plate, so before I crank these all the way down, I want to make sure I'm straight with it. 
There we go. So now got an Arca plate installed, ready to go. And uh, just repeat that process on the other stocks where I need the plates. See how it works. So fun little side note, this gun had a layer of aluminum in the stock. So I had to countersink through that aluminum and in order to get back to the uh, plastic or polymer to be able to get that T-nut to set in there, right? So just so you know, some guns have aluminum in the stock. So depending on what kind of material you have, aluminum or plastic or some sort of composite or wood, um, that might affect the ability to countersink into uh, the stock to set those T-nuts. But I was able to get through that layer of aluminum, so it should work fine. I did a bit of an experiment on this. I did three different attachment methods. So I have just the front plate on this, uh, but it's just a little Arca plate. So I can still do a bipod on it, but then I can also put that on any of my tripods. Uh, on this one, I have the front plate to run a bipod or tripod, and then also the balance plate in the middle. And then on the third rifle, I have a full length rail so you could mount the bipod tripod anywhere along it. I'm not entirely sure which one I like the best yet, but time will tell and we'll have to see. All right, got a little rock picked out here at 300 yards. We're just gonna shoot some of the various mounting positions and kind of see how I feel about everything. So starting off with the 6.5 PRC at the Atlas bipod. Sweet. Let's try to sit and the idea with this is to get the rifle pretty balanced so you can kind of slide it through the tripod plate there and pretty good. And this is a pretty little tripod. Obviously if I had a bigger tripod things would be a little more steady. Uh, I'm going to aim at that same spot. You can't really see. I think it was a cow pie I shot. And then for my rear rest again I'm sure all the shooters have a better idea of building a, a stronger rear rest, but I'm just thinking of like practical hunting scenarios. Have my backpack, set it in my lap, kind of build a rear support for that, but having the rifle balanced so far seems pretty legit. We'll see. Let's see how this, see how she rides. Three hundred wind mag, 180 grain e-tip. Pretty steady, not nearly as steady as you know the bipod, but that's that checks out. That makes sense. Jump back a little bit for sure. A few inches low, probably me. The uh, third option is this full-length plate from Salmon River Solutions. Um, that you can mount anywhere. So balance, bipod, either way. The reason I wanted to try something where I had the two different plates was so I still had a handhold for those potential offhand shots just because it's not bad, but I just don't love, I don't love the plate on my, on my hand. Personal preference, still haven't decided, but still when you're carrying the rifle, whether it's this full length or the balance plate, both options, you're still, when, if you're carrying your rifle by hand, your hand's gonna be on that plate. Cause I mean, obviously it's in the balance point of the rifle. So that makes sense. That's just the price you pay for having these mounting options. Um, but normally my rifle's on my backpack anyway. It's on a sling, I'm either attached to the pack or on a, the slick sling right here in the front. So it is what it is. So this gun, we have 28 nozzler, with 175 green long range Acubons. This will be the first shot with this suppressor out of this gun. Uh, so we'll see what it does for point of impact. And also to switch it up a bit, I'm going to shoot without the pack to see how I feel about an unsupported back here. It's a lot of hop with that little tripod and 28 nozzler. So now that I've shot a little bit, here are my takeaways. Um, the bipod mount, dead solid, 
Really like it, super stoked about that. I'm always gonna go for the bipod regardless. I mean, it's just low to the ground, it's always steadier. Um, so love that. But obviously when you are shooting, you know, at a downhill angle or you got the, some of those cross canyon shots or you need to get above grass, if you have a tripod, to me, that's this is now the best option. Um, big fan of the balance plate within the pack as a rear rest. Uh, again, it's not gonna be nearly as steady as the bipod, but uh, considering the alternative of shooting off of your pack or shooting sticks, definitely way more steady than that. So pretty big fan of that. Um, it takes a little more time to set up though, and so that's a sacrifice you make, but in the scheme of things, pretty dang quick. As far as uh, what I would go with, the two plate option, honestly, I don't know if it's worth the extra hassle of having to drill more holes. I'd probably just get one plate. I mean, it's, it's kind of handy to uh, be able to do an you know, offhand shot like this, but, but yeah. I'd probably just do the, the one single plate in the future, but don't mind this now that I have it. So anyway, yeah, that's how I have these rifles set up for this season. Continue to shoot them, see how I like it. Pretty big fan. Just having the versatility to hop on any of our tripods, all the tripods we use for work are Arca Swiss, all the ones I use for my spotting scope are Arca Swiss, my binocular adapter, the bipod, tripod, everything. It's now the same mount. Super excited about that, super handy. Let me know if you have any other thoughts, comments, put them down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.